Welcome back to another episode of the Electrician's Tool Channel. This is going to be a final video of a series that I've been doing uh, geared toward electrical apprentices. And this one would be entitled, it's going to be entitled Literature. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Entitled Literature. And uh, this is part seven. Part seven. And so um, uh, before I start, I want to thank, thank all of my uh, subscribers who've been helped supporting the channel by hitting that like button and uh, subscribing to the channel. Uh, I do this for free. And when you subscribe or hit the like button, that's for free. So I would appreciate if you support the channel, man. If you get anything out of this video, anything out of this video or any of my previous videos, you know, I appreciate if you go back and hit the like button. I'm trying to build a channel. Uh, I have a lot of videos that's out there. I'm sure that's out of all of my videos, there's probably one that you like. So and if you like that one, support the channel, man. Support that video then. Hit that like button that's underneath the, uh, 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 the video. And if, you, and if you like my channel, subscribe to it. That way you'll receive notifications of all of my upcoming videos and that'll, that'll put me in your feed. Whereas all of my previous videos every now and then, or not every now and then, like daily, I guess you'll be seeing some of those as well. So again, I want to thank you guys. Uh, for your support and I uh, actually for your continued support. So with all that out of the way, again, let's move on to um, the video. Now, what you see in front of you is not all the books that I have. I just kind of grabbed some randomly uh, so to give you an idea of what I'm talking about to how to uh, stack your mind up, uh, you know, as you're growing in your electrical trade, you want to be, uh, the coldest can in the six pack. In other words, you want to be the smartest guy in the room. You want to be the guy that everybody comes to. You want to be the problem solver. You want to be the asset of that company. That's what you want to be. And it's only way you can be that is through knowledge. All the tools and all the videos that I put out about tools, I know how to use every last one of them. If you put me in a room uh, to, and I had to fix something, I'm going to fix it. Why? Because I wear the badge of an electrician proudly. I did my homework. That's why I'm passing it on to you guys. So, uh, with that being said, guys, become a stacked deck with knowledge. Don't run from it. Gain it. Gain it. Don't, don't just, if you are a residential uh, electrician, if you just do commercial or if you just do industrial. Whatever one that you're in right now, while you're doing that, try to learn about the other two or three. Learn about them. Don't just focus all of your attention just in one place. Focus it in, oh, you're doing residential, for example. In, in your spare time, read on how to uh, wire up Tesla cars. What makes them go? What are the components to make that car go? Uh, what's uh, how to do uh, work on an industrial control panel inside of a uh, a factory or a plant, a commercial commercial um, you know you know in, in, in a commercial electricity. Find out you know um, uh, how those things work. How you know just 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 do your homework and to make yourself well rounded, well rounded. So and again, this is only part of not even part of what the books that I have and uh, read about. Uh, but I'm constantly reading because I'm constantly growing, even at my age, uh, you know, and I'm not old, and, but uh, there's nothing wrong with that. But continue to learn. That's the key word. Continued learning. Continue to learn. Continue to learn. I can't stress that enough. Continue to learn. Don't just look at the pictures. Read. Highlight. Make notes. Make your own notes. Don't have a note on this tablet, a note on that tablet. Have Be organized. Have organized notes and that you can go back to. That's what I'm saying. Do that. And the more you know, the more you earn. The more you learn, the more you earn. Uh, the less you know, the less you earn. And after a while, you the less you know, you keep, find, keep pushing, going backwards, you're going to find yourself out of a job. The more you know, you're going to become so important. Your, your pay rate is going to go up. You're going to become that man. You're going to become uh, 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 an asset to whatever organization that you're belonging to. So I can't stress that enough. 
I can't stress that enough. Um, all, and, um, also, I want to tell you, when you become an electrician, uh, a licensed electrician, your goal, or should be your goal, is to become, and, and it's not everybody's goal, become your own boss. I can't stress that enough. Because working for someone, now if you just get in a trade, working for someone, well, you got to do that. But when you become your, get your license, and you can't start a business, go in, go in your own business. One thing I'm going to leave you with here before we go on into it, you can never get rich working for somebody else. They won't allow it. They won't allow it. You will not get rich working for someone else. So, guys, uh, with that being said, let me just turn this volume up a little bit. With that being said, let's, like I said, let's get into this. We're going to start with the top. This is my electric, uh, Electrical Pro. This is a, uh, a, an electrician's calculator. This it has, all, it has been downloaded with all the, the 2020 NEC codes for calculating. Uh, now, I can't remember everything. Sometimes I have a brain freeze. You may consider getting one of these you because you may not carry a pen and pad with you all the time. As long as you know what size type of wire you have, the foot or the, uh, the feet that you want to run and things like that, you can put it in here and it gives you the calculator what you need. The voltage drop, things like that, what size wire you need, what size box you need. You know, that's what you want. That's what you want. And you may want to consider getting yourself one of these. Um, it works for me. Uh, I, I can't really tell you the last time I did use it, but I have it handy right in my truck. I have it right in my truck. And sometime on my spare time, instead of on my phone, on, on IG, on whatever, I'm sitting there making up calculations and seeing how to familiarize myself further with this. Uh, because it takes some getting used to. The more you practice, the better you get. But this is something that I think that you may want to invest in. Uh, so, and then you have a quick reference on how to use it up here. It's, it's not rocket science, guys. Um, it's not rocket science. So, that's one of the things that you may, and it's made by, cal, uh, this is the company, Calculated Industries, and this is their Construction Master Electrocal, Electrocal Pro uh, Electrician's Calculator, okay? Secondly, you may want you may want to get yourself an Ugly's book. A lot of you electricians out there, I'm sure you probably have one of these already. And the Ugly's book is filled with also filled with a lot of information, you know, how to wire this and what's this. basically it's, it's it's what's in that uh, is in what that is is in whatever's in that calculator is basically what's in here, but it's just on paper. You know, it's in a book form. But they have a lot of stuff in here that you can use. Um, if you don't have that, I guess you can always use this if you don't have the calculator you, and, and if that's further down the line, you know, you don't have the funds right now to buy it, get yourself one of these. This ugly book may cost you $20, but it's worth every penny. So get yourself an ugly's book. Make sure you get yourself an up-to-date one, but get yourself an ugly's book, an ugly's manual, and there you have it. And again, on your spare time, instead of sitting in the truck on a cell phone, on, just playing on a... Um, on IG or whatever you're playing on, check it. Man, read, read. Knowledge comes and wisdom comes from reading, read, okay? Now, third, this is the first edition from Nick Fowler. This is Electro Electrician's Calcula Calculations Manual. This is from 2005, uh, uh, NEC, but I had this and I've been reading it ever since, man. I've been reading, this is one of them. I've been through this, I've been through this. this and calculation is very important. So I've been through this. Get yourself one of these books. This is the first edition, and this is the second edition by uh, uh, the same guy, Nick Fowler, okay? Electrician's Calculated Manual. Third, familiarize yourself with all, kind, all types of electrical systems. This one, I bought this book here because it teaches me about RV. This is, DC, this is a DC uh, system. RV, uh, Recreational vehicle, recreational vehicle. Uh, this is about their systems. How to uh, a basic guide to troubleshooting, repair, and improvement. Well, uh, it is wired kind of differently than most home uh, home uh, electrical systems. And this is what you want to do. You want you want to familiarize yourself with this because 
just because you knock, if you plan on being an electrician, then this is the career that you have chosen, you may be going to run across this. Especially now, since um, everything turning to battery operated systems, Tesla cars, uh, I mean, even down to a, just say for example, a doggone weed eat. I know, not a weed eat. I'm just saying, but battery operated systems, um, uh, 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 photovoltaic systems. So, uh, that's, that's solar panels and things like that. You you want to familiarize yourself with all kinds of electrical systems. So this is one for RV. And um, I haven't gotten into it just yet, but I intend to get into it soon. I have so many other books that I'm reading right now. So um, I haven't gotten into it yet, but I bought this because it's on my list to read. I have a stack of books that I've read already and a stack that I haven't read. I have so many books. But anyway, uh, now this one, this is an encyclopedia. Of electronic circuits well uh, why do he, you may say why do he have uh, electronics up here and I'm an electrician electronics is just a fine line between electronics and electric and an electrician it's your job to understand every circuit in here all these wire di wiring diagrams and circuits symbols you're gonna need to know about it nothing looks so bad then you walk on a job site inside of a place dressed like you know it all and have the IQ of a rock. Don't know nothing. Man, you're gonna be laughed out of the building. Your company gonna be shamed. The company that you work for, they're gonna be shamed. And by the time you get back to the company, you may not have a job because now you just gave the company a bad reputation. Education, educate yourself, educate yourself, and learn yourself. Get one of these books and put it inside the truck where you are, or bring it with you. And in your spare time, just go through it, man. Highlight some stuff. Read it. Try to understand these things. It's not hard. It's man-made, trust me. And if man made it, you can learn it. Okay? So, that's that. These books here, I just recently purchased this one this month. Today is the 25th. Two, three days ago, two days ago, I just received this in the mail. This is all about electronic components. Uh, I know what majority of these are, but... And so I don't know because it's more than what we just see on the front of this thing here. They got more in the inside that I don't know about. And I'm going, I haven't read it yet, but I'm going to. And this book tells you what it's for, what it's used for, how to place it in a circuit, and things like that. I want to know. <laughs> inquiring minds want to know. And I have an inquiring mind. I want to know. So I'm giving you all this, 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 this knowledge. I hope that you use it because if it's not, you're going to fall by the wayside. I'm telling you, you're going to fall. In this day and age, you're going to fall by the wayside. So get this book, man. Get one of these books. Learn. Learn. Because you will, I kid you not, you will be running into uh, uh, this, this, this in the future. Okay? Now, put that over there. This is the other one here. This tell you about uh, resistors, capacitors, inductors, switches, encoders, relays, and transistors. And this one um, told, told you about what? Uh, proximity, orientation, facilitation, force, load, uh, human input, liquid and gas properties, light, heat, sound, and electricity. So uh, that's what these be used for, and these are used for power sources and conversion. So read that kind of stuff. This one, I bought this one in 2019, okay? And this is industrial motor control. You want to learn about this too? This is a good book also. You want to know about these things. Find out the fundamentals of all of this kind of stuff, man. Uh, relays, what, it, uh, what was it? Relays and contactors. You want to see how they coincide with each other. How to wire them up. What causes them to go bad? And if they're going bad, what to look for. Read. How, make some highlights. Man, you get these books right now for a little or nothing on the, on the internet. Why? Because nobody's buying them. Everybody nowadays want to... Uh, you know, want the quick way out. And the quick way out don't last long. It don't last long. You know, you, know, you don't want to be an overnight electrician. No, man, you want to be a, 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 an electrician that's here to stay. Check this book out, guys. Check that book out. This one is the fundamentals of, of instrumentation. This book was written by those of you maybe who are familiar with the electrical union, the IBEW. Okay, this is, the, this is for the apprenticeship program right here. Um, this book was for them, but um, this is the fundamentals of, of instrumentation. I bought this book. I can't remember when the the 
the date had been uh, erased off of here somehow, but because I had put it on here. But this is also a good book. I mean, just open it up. Just telling you about because you may go work in a big plant, um, you know, a chemical plant or what have you, and you want to know how to read 24 volts, how to do uh, process instruments, uh, instrumentation. You want to know all of this stuff. You you have to know this. That could be you behind there making big bucks. That could be you behind there making big bucks. So, guys, you know, uh, don't just settle for being in someone's attic. Being a, being a, residential, a residential electrician, if that's really what you want to do, more power to you, brother. You know, be safe out there. Make the money. Make the money you can. But this is the real big buck. You don't see any grease on him whatsoever. All uh, the hard, he, all this knowledge is in that head right there. That's what you want to do. You got me. But if you had that kind of knowledge, and you work in, uh, and you start your own business, yeah, you don't have to be, be that. You could be a contractor, come in and 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 work on something like that, and make big big bucks. This book here, test instruments. There are several test in instruments that's out there, and a lot of people don't even know how to use them. I featured a lot of them on my videos, and uh, that, that's that's a, that's y'all first. Some of y'all first time ever seeing them. So this book here was put out by a guy called Glenn Mazur. And he's basically talking about most of the tools that flu have. Now, some are ideal. I see ideas, but basically, basically all test tools. And, you know, that's what you want to do. Get this book, Familiarize Yourself with uh, all the test instruments out there for electricians. And you can't go wrong, man. So you'll be a well, you'll be stacked up. You have all the tools you need to do all any kind of job that comes before you. Okay? Now, Last but not least, can't live without this. Get yourself, uh, keep yourself a uh, up-to-date National Electrical Code, NEC. You must have one of these and live by it. As far as when you're doing the work, live by it. The, so um, a true, you know, um, there are rules, there are rules, excuse me, there are rules in this book that we must live by, codes in this book that we must live by. Guys, this is your electrical Bible, basically. If you don't have one, get one. And if somebody trying to tell you about what could be done, and it should be done like this, you're talking to another another apprentice, journeyman, or you have doubt about what they're saying, and, and, and they're saying what they're saying is true, tell them to show it to you in the NEC. Half the people can't even show it to you because they don't know how to read it. That's where you come in at. That's where you come in with your knowledge. You read so much and highlight and you know what these things are. You're another person telling you a lie or not. And when, you know, you're not going to look for a fight out there. But when somebody comes to you talking crazy and uh, telling you stuff that you that may not be true, teaching you wrong, yeah, tell them to show it to you. And I bet you eight out of ten times they can't even show it to you because they don't read. Okay, guys, so don't want to hold you in long. I appreciate your time. Thank you for letting me take it up. So again, I uh, let me remind you that if you like the video, uh, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this series, go back and start from number one up to number seven right here. And, uh, you know, like the videos, subscribe to the channel if you dig the channel, what I'm doing. Uh, all that's what I'm asking y'all to do, hit, hitting the like button, subscribe button. It's for free, man. You know, I'm trying to give y'all something. I'm just asking you, support me. Support the channel, what I'm doing. I got more videos on the way. And uh, with that being said, guys, you y'all guys take care. And as always, until next time, what is this? Oh, peace out.